Hello, and welcome to the Media Center's sixth Local Hero Award series, in which we showcase a total of six people from the Mid-Peninsula for outstanding achievement or contributions to the community. We solicited nominations and were particularly looking for the unsung heroes. Each winner is an inspiration, and each has a great story to tell. Every parent's worst nightmare has got to be to lose a child, especially to suicide. The issue has been of particular concern in Palo Alto, which has seen several teen suicides in recent years. One woman who has devoted herself to addressing the problem is Mary Ojakian, a registered nurse and community volunteer. She's worked closely with California's public higher education systems to improve their mental health services she serves on a host of boards and committees at the state and local levels, including the Bay Area Chapter of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, the Santa Clara County Suicide Prevention Oversight Committee, and the Palo Alto Suicide Prevention Task Force, Project Safety Net, all of which are aimed at suicide prevention as well as educating the public about it. She's won several awards for her work. She was also a founding member of an informal group of five local moms who came together after the life-shattering loss of a child to suicide. Your uh, journey began on December 17th, 2004. Tell me what happened. Uh, our son, Adam, died of suicide. Was his suicide a surprise to you? Absolutely. We're certain, looking back, that he was suffering from severe depression. Now, you are a registered nurse. You've yes. worked on advice hotlines. And even a trained professional mm -hmm. didn't pick this up. What does that tell us? It tells us that suicide is uh, an extremely taboo subject and that we don't uh, think about it at all. It's, it's, and in fact, uh, Parents that I've since met whose children had previously attempted suicide uh, did not expect their child to actually die of suicide. I've read a statistic in a study, 86% of parents who lose a child to suicide absolutely have no clue that that's going to happen. What causes most of the suicides, especially among young people? A disease process. And tell me what the disease is and what the process the is. The most frequent uh, cause is major depression. What happens in mental illnesses is that there is a biological dysfunction of the brain. It doesn't think and react like a healthy brain does. Mm -hmm. And um, there, there is a, a level, a deep, deep level of hopelessness and helplessness that comes about and a narrowing of a sense of your options and incredible uh, pain. It's, it's a different kind of pain, but it's incredible pain that there seems to be no other way out of. Um, the sad part of the whole process is that the treatments that are available for these illnesses are actually more effective than, say, for heart disease, the really? current treatments really? we have, yes. And at least two-thirds, those are the statistics I've seen, of people who have an illness, mostly depression, don't uh, seek help. Oh, and wow. the treatment is truly effective. It's not just medicine, there are a variety of treatments. Uh -huh. There, there is a, a, there's a group of um, sort of crisis intervention uh, things called uh, gatekeeper trainings, uh -huh. and QPR is one of them. I like that one because it's easy to remember. It's like CPR, uh, which is for the heart, as we know. Mm -hmm. And QPR is basically for a, an emotional crisis of the brain. Uh, it's called uh, question, persuade, refer. Easily learned doesn't take any longer than CPR. Everybody should know it as a first aid technique. It's to, if someone goes into an emotional crisis, it's a way of 
convincing them, you might say, or, or persuading them, as the word is, mm -hmm. to seek treatment. My husband and I often uh, give presentations and someone always comes up to us, maybe more than one, and says, thank you, I've never been able to talk about this with anyone before. That is a problem in our society, and my belief is that when we start talking about this subject, we'll start to find solutions to the tragedy that's happening. To find out more about our local heroes and to watch interviews with all the winners, visit our website, midpenmedia.org. At the Mid Peninsula Community Media Center, you can make your own videos and television programs and take classes in all aspects of media production. You can also hire our professional services team. To find out more, go to mcproservices.com. Congratulations to all our winners, and thank you for watching.